All right, you guys, so the SpongeBob slash Dino Tycoon update is here and it is fully released. Now, this time around, I'm switching up the format of this video. I kind of actually went ahead and played the update a little bit and read through the whole dev blog. So hopefully by doing that, I can save you guys some time and we can go over the important stuff that is in this update instead of me just reading through all like the fluff that's in here. By no means did I finish the update, but I did play just a little bit enough so that I can understand how this update kind of works. So starting off, of course, we have Titanic SpongeBob here in the new SpongeBob exclusive egg. This guy right here is so big, he can barely fit on my screen within this dev blog. He is absolutely huge. And then, of course, we have huge Mr. Krabs and huge Patrick Star. And then the exclusive pets, which features a Gary exclusive. Now, personally, Gary is definitely my favorite of all of these. I think he looks absolutely sick. I wish there was a third huge slot because I think Gary would have been a sick huge pet. Then moving on, we have the Dino Tycoon event, which is the bulk of the content based stuff that we're having for this week's update. Now, believe it or not, this event world is basically a Dino Tycoon. If you've ever played other tycoon games in Roblox, this Dino Tycoon is extremely similar and you'll see exactly why when we get in the game. As they explain here in the dev blog, you collect coins to fully complete your island, discover new huge pets, jet skis, mini islands, and more. And then of course you could unlock your island to find upgrades, spend coins on all of the build buttons, find player upgrades, eggs, and a new machine. So essentially how this works is every single little thing on this map, all the way from the flowers to the rocks on the path, all get unlocked using money. Now that money is actually the coins that you get from destroying the breakables in each of the breakable areas. Now when you load into the world, none of these other breakable areas are here. All you start off with is the one area right here in the middle, and you don't even have a building or anything around it. So in order to build all of this stuff, you're going to have to grind the coins in the middle and you're going to be able to unlock everything around here. And then the goal of this update is to essentially unlock every single thing on this island. And then you get a bonus set of gift bags from the dino world. So as you guys can see, this is what it's going to look like. You can buy the path, the wall, and then whatever's going to be back there. As promised, we got five new eggs so we should be able to build five new areas within this little world in terms of huge pets we have the huge dino dog which is earned from the dino tycoon's final egg and then we have the huge electric dino which is earned from that dino gift bag so what they don't mention here is that there is a huge uh, mech dino as well which is earned from the forever pack so i'm not sure why they didn't list it here they usually do that now another feature you can't do with this dino tycoon event is that you can actually visit your friends islands so each of the friends that you actually invite grants you both with 100 fossil tokens now these fossil tokens will be used in the dino machine that i'll explain in a second but if you are with your friends you can race with those jet skis that we had in the leaks explore other mini islands and vibe so as you can see this is what it's supposed to look like you can kind of see like your friends islands i guess and then if you do play together, you can get those hundred fossil tokens. And then, of course, they mentioned here that you have specific tycoon upgrades that you can build. So the further you unlock things on your island, you'll get access to upgrades like this, which will give you even more money upgrades and stuff like that. And then the rewards on this island are essentially just these dino gifts. Now, there is a couple ways to get these free dino gifts. Now, the main way, which is kind of the objective of this event world, is to actually complete your island fully by purchasing all of the options. So if you do that, you get 20 free dino gifts, as we discussed. Now, you can also get these dino gifts randomly from just drops. So just grinding in this area is going to give you a lot of these gift bags, it seems. In about the 10 minutes I played, I did have one drop for me, so it seems like it's a decent chance to just get it from breakables. And then as discussed, you can get that huge electric dino from this gift bag. Now moving on to that kind of important dino machine that we talked about in the leaks. So it's not really exactly what I predicted it was. This is kind of a weird one. But using this machine, you can actually use the fossil tokens to increase your huge chance and the timer on that huge chance. So it's going to look something like this. As you can see, it's like a 58x boost. 
And then when you open up the menu, you'll see that it tells you how long it's going to remain active for. So if you use all of your fossil tokens at once, that's going to give you a 100x huge chance for 12 hours. Now, I'm not sure exactly how often these fossils drop. And it also says here that you do get access to this in the final breakables area. So besides just playing with friends to get these fossils, you can also get them by breaking chests as well as just drops from breakables. So when it says huge chance boost, what I assume this means is that it's from the final egg so remember, you get that chance at the huge dino dog from the final egg in this area. So I assume that 100x chance is going to be for that huge, but it doesn't explicitly say that anywhere from what I can see. And then we are also getting access to other mini islands that you can visit using your jet ski. And the island will look something like this with a chest. And you also have a chance to get fossil tokens by exploring it. And there's also four new tiers of jet skis. So each one gets a little faster. And then next up, we have the dino pack with the chance for the huge mech dino. Besides that, there's nothing really that important in here. You can get those fossils that we were just talking about as well from this. I also assume that these are going to be tradable because they have been in the past few type of event worlds. And then, of course, we have that Series 3 merch that technically is already in the game. And you can get this by buying stuff at Walmart and Target. Now, I'm not sure if that's very advisable. Uh, honestly, these are all extremely ugly to me. But honestly, what do I know? I, I will not have a good opinion on this, but it, these don't look that good to me. And then for some reason, they also included the Titanic merch drop in this developer update blog. It does seem like they're getting a little desperate in here trying to push stuff like this. But I guess they do have some glow in the dark Titanic plushies. So yeah, if you like burning money on fire, then uh, go ahead and do that. But that's essentially it. We do have a few changes to go over. So they added a low wrap warning when selling all huges in Titanics, which is a very good change. This is good for the newer players or even the younger audience that plays this game so that if a kid opens up like a huge or a Titanic from an egg and they don't exactly know what they have, this feature should stop them from accidentally selling it for way below the value that they should. And then next up, they also write that they changed the color of the lightning orb from that blue color to the yellow. So I guess all of the leaks were wrong. It turns out it wasn't a brand new enchant in the slightest. It was just the same old lightning orb, but they changed it to yellow for some reason. Honestly, I don't know why they would do this. It's just such a weird move from big games that it's just a very <laughs> big games is so weird. And then that other diamond enchant that we expected to see in the update today just wasn't included at all. So I don't know if the idea for that was just scrapped or what they were thinking. But besides that, let's actually hop into this Dino Tycoon world on a new account so we can experience this all together. So as soon as you load in, you guys are going to see you start off with this one upgrade. Now you could buy this one for free but this is the only free one that you're going to get in the rest of the world. Now, if I turn my graphics quality all the way up, you guys will see, you can see like the background of this like Jurassic Park theme. And then essentially you start off by letting your pets grind this middle area. Of course, since it's an event world, you can only use 15 of your huges. As you can see right away, I just got a dino gift. So the odds to get these dino gifts drops might be kind of crazy. And then as you can see, all of these coins that we get is essentially this money that you buy these upgrades with. So I can buy this first egg right here. Now, remember, it's super important to open these eggs because these stat pets are actually the only thing that should be affecting your damage in these worlds. So all of your previous stat pets that you might have should not be affecting it. As you can see, all of the stat pets that I currently have all are doing 10. And then if we go ahead and open up this egg, we can see how much power that these stat pets are giving us. As you can see, this golden dino monkey is 110, which means that it is 11 times as strong as uh, the other stat pets that you had before. And then we have this breakable damage upgrade. We have walls. And I think you guys get the idea. This is pretty much how it works. You just are going to be able to run around and buy all of these upgrades. Now, I'm not sure if there really is a strategy for moving around these areas, but I do know the second breakables area is right here. So you could buy all of the stuff leading up to this path right here. 
I'm pretty sure you just have to buy basically everything that's going to be in this hallway. And then by doing so and buying all of these wall upgrades, you should be able to get this little breakable zone, which should be able to give you more money. But either way, though, I don't think it's going to be that hard to fully upgrade this world. But as you guys can see here, we upgraded our second area. So now we can move our pets here and hopefully this will actually give us even more coins. And then keep in mind, there is four other areas that you can unlock. And then again, just remember that you keep buying these new stat pets because it's going to speed up the process of breaking these things by a ton. Your old stat pets mean nothing. So I just opened this egg once and I believe I got this rainbow safari dog, which is 580, which is 58 times as strong as any stat pets you might have previously. Now, really quickly, I'm going to go ahead and actually get all of the upgrades and hopefully get to the final area so that I can show you guys the huge chance machine as well as whatever content may be at the end. So I'll check back in with you guys in a second with that. All right, so really quickly, I have been testing out some enchants to see like what kind of build works really well here. So far from all of my testing, none of the damage enchants do anything. And honestly, from taking off these speed books and putting them back on, I honestly can't tell if the speed books are working, which does lead me to question whether pretty much any of the other enchants will be working in this world. As you guys can see, all boosts are paused in this area, which also means that you can't use any sprinklers or any flags as well and then on top of that you also can't use your ultimates for some reason so it doesn't seem like there's many benefits to doing anything one thing you can use however are these enchants like the lightning orb or even this nightmare orb as you guys can see these orb enchants are working so these might be the only enchants that are actually working in this area as you can see they are putting in some absolute work right now definitely not clearing but it does seem like they kind of buffed this lightning orb as well if i only equip this lightning orb you'll see that the aoe that it does is pretty good well i might have been, been exaggerating i guess you just saw it right there but the aoe doesn't really proc very often which is the issue but when it does proc it can actually to a pretty sizable area sometimes i guess the issue with this is that it doesn't proc very often at all so if we unequip this enchant and compare it to just like a regular nightmare orb it seems like this nightmare orb shoots a little bit faster and maybe even does more damage but also from my testing stuff like super lightning does not work at all in this area and then pretty much none of the other enchants that I'm testing seem to be working. Even the explosive enchant doesn't seem to be working for pets. So I'm honestly doubting that these speed five books are doing anything, but I might as well keep them on because I don't have anything else to fill the slots. So potentially maybe his strategy is actually using all orb books. So if you have lightning orb or even just the nightmare orb, using these in like the second best area that you have unlocked might actually be the strategy for this world since none of the other enchants seem to be doing anything. All right, you guys, so it's pretty much been 30 minutes and I've been able to unlock the final area here. Now, I do suggest my strategy of using these orbs and sitting in the second best area while your main pets are grinding this area. That did seem to speed up things pretty well for me. And then as you can see, this dino dog is here in the final egg. And then over here, we have this huge chance machine, which where you can use these fossil tokens, which I've only gotten from grinding these breakables. And essentially you can spend them on upgrading your huge chance for a certain amount of time. So obviously a 1.6 X chance for 10 minutes isn't that good. So I'll probably hold on to my fossil tokens until I can get enough to fill this out completely. But we actually did get the odds of getting this huge leaked by Kopi Cat on Twitter. In his latest tweet, he says the base chance of getting the huge dino dog from the egg, if you have no upgrades at all, is going to be 1 in 583 million. Now, while that is quite a low chance of getting this huge, that means if you do fully max out this machine and you get a 100x chance at getting it that means getting this huge will only be a one in 5.8 million now we can compare this to some of the latest huges that we've had in event worlds such as the uv cat which was a one in 16.7 million chance 
But of course, you didn't need any upgrades to actually get that huge UV cat. But if you are able to max out your upgrades here for at least 12 hours, you will have a three times more likely chance at getting it compared to this UV cat. And then also that second huge that came out in the good versus evil world was also a one in 16.7 million chance. So again, this huge is about three times easier than that huge if you have the max 100x upgrade. All right, you guys. So I went ahead and actually destroyed this chest on this mini island that I unlocked. And I actually got like 75 fossils, which is like three times more than what I've gotten in total so far. So I definitely would suggest upgrading and getting one of these mini islands for yourself. As you can see, they are quite expensive, 300 mil for that, and then an extra 100 mil for this. Now, I think how much damage you do to this chest on this island is determined by whatever your best stat pet is here. Currently, I am doing 1.3k per hit with this rainbow triceratops, so kind of a decent mid-tier stat pet. But I think there are four mini islands that you can get around here. So if you do want to just hop on your jet ski and go around the island and destroy all of these chests, then that is a way that you can get a ton of fossils. As you guys can see, I just got 150 fossil tokens from this chest right here. So I do suggest that you do buy all of these island upgrades and then go around and grind them for just a little bit. And this will be a good way for you to get the fossils to upgrade your huge chances. If we head over now to this machine with what fossils we have now we have 273 which does give us a 15.6 x huge chance for three hours which is kind of decent but i would still wait till you can get that max huge chance According to my calculations, at this rate, it should take you 1,750 fossil tokens for you to get that 100x huge chance for 12 hours. Now, if I continue grinding this area, I should have enough coins to do that pretty easily. The only thing that gets expensive are these little mini islands. So just keep grinding, upgrade all of them, and then keep farming this chest, and you guys should be pretty good. Either way though, you guys, this is pretty much it. This is all the content for update 22. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys think about this update. Again, this week seems like it is kind of a small update, all things considered. This little event world with this tycoon type event is pretty much the only content for this week. I'm not necessarily going to say it's bad because I'm kind of enjoying it right now, but it does seem like I'm pretty much done already within an hour and 15 minutes of the update being out. Also, let me know down in the comments what kind of videos you want to see for this week. I have been a little burnt out, so it's been a little difficult coming up with some good ideas. I don't want to make just some boring fluff videos for you guys. I only want to make videos if I actually find them interesting or I think that you guys will actually get help from them. Either way though, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video and peace out.